The Lil Band's Native Youth Hockey Tournament recently returned to Dryden after a two-year hiatus. 38 teams from First Nations across the North competed in the highly anticipated event, and as Lee Noonan tells us, the tournament is about more than fun and games. The atmosphere at the Dryden Memorial Arena was ruckus and never more so than in the final game as Round Lake scored a tie-breaking goal with only seconds on the clock, cinching the under-18 championship. In every division, players were thrilled to bring home the gold. Happy! Happy! Because we won! I just played hard. And what about the rest of the team? They tried their best too. We won A side, and I could have done it without like everybody. <laughs> With some traveling hundreds of kilometers to play or to support their home team, the Little Bands tournament is about more than just hockey glory. I talked about those issues, those boredom issues within the communities. They're spending a lot of their days throughout the summer, spring, whatever, um, doing nothing. That little band is like, is like Christmas time to them. So, you know, it's, it's, it's everything. And it's, um, it's, it's saving lives, it's, it's doing everything imaginable that we can't even comprehend. For the Round Lake senior girls team, victory was bittersweet. They're excited to bring home the championship trophy, but they're also grieving two teammates lost over the past year. So we did good. We kept with the game, and we kept playing for our, our late teammates. Choose life. Event organizer Ziggy Beardy says it's good to be back after being shut down due to COVID and travel restrictions the past two years. There's hundreds of... Uh... Uh, people here, uh, fans, and mo mostly players, though. Three years ago, I should say, we had 74 teams. Now uh, we have 38. We're slowly coming up again, and uh, but it's still a good tournament. Uh, everyone is enjoying themselves here, as you can see. Organizers are hopeful that the event will continue growing and rebounding from COVID and that more and more teams will be able to come out and play next year at Little Bands. Lee Noonan, TBT News.